Hello and welcome to the PGA Tour Driven School. I'm your teacher, Gabriel Ryder, and today's topic is tournaments and how to prepare for tournaments. I had a PGA Tour Driven student of mine ask me, he goes, Gabe, I'm playing in my first tournament this summer and I was wondering if there's any tips or advice you could give me. And I said, of course. Why? Because I know everything. And if there's anything you need to know about the game of golf or how to succeed in it, throw me your questions and I might or may, may not answer them. Well, let's get started. Tournaments. Um, I played in San Diego Junior Golf. I live in San Diego. Um, I play with kids who've gotten full ride scholarships to USC, to Northwestern, to UCLA. Um, the same uh, golf association that Phil Mickelson used to play in, Pat Perez, Chris Riley, uh, Tiger Woods. So I played with some very good junior golfers. I've also played in some TJ Tour qualifiers. So I do have some tournament experience. And I'm going to share with you guys the same tips and the same things that helped me. So hopefully that may help you as well. So let's get started. I believe in preparing for a tournament would be the same as preparing for a test in school. What do I mean? I mean, if you want to do good on a test in school, you're going to study for what's going to be on the test. Same thing with golf. If I'm playing, let's say, Verona Creek, um, that's where they're holding the Nationwide Tour Championship here this year, 2010. That course is roughly 73, 7,400 yards. And when I played that course, I hit a, a lot of drivers, a lot of long irons, and the greens are heavily bunkered, so I hit a lot of medium 15 to 20 yard bunker shots. So that's what I'm going to practice on the range. I'm going to be practicing my long irons, my drivers, and my bunker shots. I'm not going to be practicing much mid to short irons because I'm not going to hit those on that course. Just like I would be if I was playing Twin Oaks, um, where they hold the Farmer's Insurance Qualifier. That course is like 6,400 yards, and I hit driver wedge into every hole. So if I was playing that qualifier, I'm hitting wedges, and I'm practicing my putting, because I know it's going to be whoever goes the lowest. So go to the course, get some practice rounds in, and try to get a feel about feel for what you're going to have to practice. You know, If it's a long course, don't be hitting short irons that you wouldn't be hitting in the tournament. So the first thing would be to go to the course, get a feel for what you'd have to practice, what clubs you would be hitting in the tournament, and get a game plan. You know, figure out what clubs are going to hit off with certain tees, you know, figure out what the speed of the greens are like, where your misses are, what kind of short game shots are you going to come across. And then after you get a feel for the golf course and you're practicing the certain shots and you have a good game plan, then what you want to do before your tournament is you want to visualize. You know, this game is 110% mental, and you want to visualize your perfect round. I used to do that, and that helped me a lot. I used to visualize me in perfect drivers, perfect irons, perfect putts. You know, I'd visualize the whole tournament in my mind, you know. I would try to recreate those same feelings of being nervous, being on that first tee, but being confident, being focused, being relaxed as well. So I would play the tournament in my mind before I even got there visualizing my putts going in and hitting perfect drives and perfect iron shots. So make sure you visualize and even writing out. Uh, writing is a great tool when it comes to helping the mind have a definite plan of action. So write out the outcome. Write how you want the tournament to finish, what you want to shoot, what place you want to get. Write it out so you can get your mind more focused on what you want to happen. Um, so like I said, play the course on the range. before. You play around, try to play the course, you know? What clubs are gonna hit off certain tees, what irons are gonna have into the greens. And also when you get to the course, you know, with tournament day, you know, go through your routine, hit some balls, hit some putts. But I think is crucial is that first tee shot. I mean, when I play San Diego, San Diego Junior Golf and I'm playing with a whole bunch of kids better than me, and I was pretty nervous in my first tournament, and I'm sure you all we all would, right? And I would just have to say of every tournament I try to stay as relaxed as possible. Breathing really helps me, you know. Deep breaths, you know. Deep breaths, and I just try to stay relaxed. You know, I like to pick a club off the tee I know I can get in play, I feel comfortable with, because, you know, tee shot, first tee shot's always nerve wracking. So pick a club you're comfortable with, you can get in play. Deep breaths, stay relaxed, because when we're nervous, we tend, we tend to tense up, and that can destroy your golf swing. So take some deep breaths, visualize your shot, and, and uh, stay comfortable. That's the main thing. I just have to say stay relaxed and 
don't put too much pressure on yourself. This won't be the first and last tournament you play in. I've seen too many kids, especially in San Diego Junior Golf, who just, they want so much, but they'll try so hard and they'll end up blowing and make a double or triple because they get so mad. Um, so it's not the first and last tournament. Stay composed. And if you don't start off good, just stay calm because you'll bring it back. And that's what I'd have to say. Stay relaxed, stay, stay calm, and just have fun. That's the main thing, you know. Putting too much pressure on yourself. It's not, it won't even be fun if you're, if you're not having a good time, all, having all this anxiety. So stay relaxed, have fun. Those is what's helped me, you know. Get those practice rounds, get a game plan, visualize, you know, write it out, and just relax and have fun. So that's what helped me. If you guys have any tips or you can give any tips on what's helped you in tournaments, upload a video response, put a comment in, and let us know. This is Gabriel Ryder saying thanks, and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, real quick, on a side note, as you can see, I have this board behind me. And if anybody wants to put an uh, advertisement or your company logo, I have three blocks right here. You can put your company or your company logo right here, right here, or even right here. And I can uh, hand draw your logo, your company, and you're going to get some great exposure to a whole bunch of PG Tour driven kids. So that's always possible. It's about 15 grand to put your advertisement right here, five grand, five grand, and that's about it. This is Gabriel Ryder, PeerSwingTV.com, PGATourDriven.com, signing out.